It's 2 a.m. and you still have another hour or two ahead of you for the night. Your final exam, work report, seminar paper, whatever it is, is due first thing in the morning. You've got a long way to go. And yet, this isn't your first rodeo. It seems like no matter how much time you have to prepare, you always find yourself cramming everything in the last few days ahead of your deadline. On the one hand, I can offer some tips to avoid procrastination. Oftentimes, for example, people procrastinate because they're intimidated by the size of the task at hand. A term paper is no small feat. So one way to get past this intimidation is by breaking down big tasks into smaller chunks. And here, the advice of the Prophet, peace be upon him, to do small but consistent actions is key. Working just one or two hours on big projects every day for a few weeks will get you so much further than cramming in 20 hours two nights before. I could go on and give more advice on how to not procrastinate, but a quick Google search and most of what we've covered so far can give you that. Instead, I want to take a moment to focus on the mentality we should have as Muslims to the idea of procrastination and preparing ourselves ahead of time. The Prophet ﷺ said, The wise person, the successful person, is one who holds themselves accountable for their actions, their time, their health, everything that we know that is of value, and they prepare for what comes after death. Meaning that the person we should all strive to be is one who's always thinking about how they spend their time and opportunities to engage in good habits that prepare us for what really matters. They think long-term and plan their days accordingly. And on the flip side, the foolish person is one who follows their own desires and then does what? Relies on God. I imagine we can relate to this latter person quite a lot these days. It's when we stay up all night, rushing to get something done, and convince ourselves by 7 a.m. when it's almost time up that, you know what, I did my part, and I tied my camel, so now I'm going to just put my trust in Allah. Which the Prophet, peace be upon him, calls out in this hadith and describes as foolish. That true reliance on God is about the long-term planning, the day-to-day -day good habits we instill that will make us successful in the long run, in this life and the next. We need to see it as it is. Procrastination is a disease of the heart, and just like any other struggle we face in life, is something we need to actively work towards changing. And that begins with our attitude. Acknowledging that doing so cannot possibly set us up for worldly or otherworldly success. One dua that I find particularly helpful in getting past some of the anxieties we feel when getting started ahead of time is one in which the Prophet seeks refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from a number of afflictions. In one part of the dua, he says, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al-ajz wal kasal. That, O oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from al-ajz, the inability to do things, and al-kasal, laziness. And if you recall the hadith we mentioned earlier, the Prophet, peace be upon him, describes the foolish person, the unsuccessful person, as al-ajz, meaning they suffer from al-ajz, the inability, that lack of motivation or laziness or simply procrastination from getting anything done. This dua was actually one in particular that the Prophet peace be upon him recited in the mornings and evenings because the desire to not do anything isn't something we feel once in a while. It's something that can and often takes over our lives. It can be crippling. And the Prophet knew this. He was well acquainted with human nature and offered us the tools we need to get past this paralysis. While there are many ways to help us get past our habits of procrastination, this dua offers a great starting point. It's one I constantly repeat on days that I feel anxious, unprepared, or simply not in the mood to work. So take the time to memorize it and use it as your first line of defense against the creeping desire to procrastinate that we're all so familiar with today. And on that note, looks like it's time to start planning some new good habits.